All right, so as you can see, I already started taking down the fence. This back corner of the yard is where the shed is going to go. So I had to remove the fence, and the shed is going to take the place of the fence in this area. And that's the opening right there for the gate. And so where this post is, is where the shed will start. So we go from here to here is eight feet. And then from this post down halfway between those two posts is 12 feet. All right, so I've got a couple of posts here that need to come out of the ground. Uh, they've been cemented in, and it was done by a professional company, so I'm afraid they're four feet down into the ground. So I've got my little trenching shovel here. I'm gonna dig around them, see how loose they get just by removing maybe a foot of dirt around them. My suspicions are correct. Uh, that's down in there pretty deep and um, still pretty solid. I mean, we get there's a little bit of movement there. I might be able to bang it out with a hammer. This thing was built to withstand a nuclear war. Um, it's just a four foot high cedar fence and it's not even a solid fence. So, you know, as you can see, the wind could filter through there pretty easily, but don't let my difficulties get in the way with a fencing company's reputation, that's for sure. Whoever this is, they did a great job. soil that is just hard packed clay and it's basically like trying to dig through flagstone. So since ultimately the shed is going to cover these posts or where these posts currently stand, I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. In a perfect world I wouldn't do that, but again I say that uh, this speaks to the quality of the construction of this fence. Uh, you know, I may kid around all I want about this thing being built for nuclear war, but um, this is the way they're supposed to be built. You can have kids climbing on it, dogs jumping up against it, wind blowing it, and it is going to stay solid. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm just going to go dig out my sawzall and take care of these posts. Okay, so I recruited my younger and much more energetic nephew to come over and help me. We actually dug out 
that post most of the way. I still, what I did was I cut off the post, laid the concrete footer over on its side and then buried it just because I'd have nowhere to put that footer as it is, but taking into consideration the amount of work that it took, all we did on this one was just cut it off and we'll just be sure to avoid it while we prepare the ground uh, to level it out with our tiller. we're tilling the ground and the tiller keeps dying is we're trying to loosen up the soil so we can level it a little bit better and we're also trying to uh, kind of just kill everything that's growing in this area before we put the, the plastic sheeting down in the gravel so it's going to take a little bit of time but it should be easier than trying to shovel up the whole area we'll find out Okay, the key to making a build like this go real easily without too many headaches is to get your foundation nice and level and square. In order to get it square, it's very hard to use something like this because to the naked eye it looks fine um, just using something so small, but the legs of this square are so short that it doesn't give you a good, accurate um, picture of what's actually happening here. And I know for a fact that this this angle is too acute, it's too narrow, and um, I'm going to show you, if you don't already know, how to uh, square up two long edges like this. So we start out with our tape measure. <clears throat> so there's a rule that carpenters use, it's called the 345 rule, and what that states is if one leg if you mark three feet on one leg, like this, you mark four feet on the second leg of a triangle, like this, then if it's square, from point to point, it should be five feet. If it's too short, if it's too short, the angle is too sharp, and if it's too long, the angle is too wide. So I'm at 59 inches, so I'm one inch off. So this end down here that's probably not on camera needs to slide out a little ways. Can you hold that one? Right on the mark. All right, I went over now, so now I get to go back a little bit. a little bit more. All right, 60 inches. So now this corner is perfectly square and it's much more accurate than using something like this or even like a carpenter square that's much larger. So now that this is square, it'll be a lot easier to lay out the other two legs, the other two sides of this floor, and uh, then all we have to do, worry about is getting it all level. Okay, so now we have uh, two sides 
that have been perfectly leveled and they are square to each other. I got three of my deck blocks down. Now the hardest for me is always this fourth block that needs to go here because I have to make it square to the world and I have to make it perfectly coplanar with the other two sides, so wish me luck. Okay, so we have our fourth block in its rough position. We've checked, everything is already perfectly level. We got, so it's at the right height. Um, now what we need to do is check for square. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to, right here, we're gonna measure from this corner to that corner. And then from that corner to that corner. And if they're equal, that means that this thing is perfectly square. So we're gonna do that now. Uh, time to go get some gravel and plastic sheeting. This is the end of day one. Ultimately, I did get accomplished what I wanted to have accomplished today, even though I was hopeful that it would go quicker and I'd be able to get more done, but that's just, uh, that's just how it goes. At least I met the goal that I had. The whole ground is um, prepared. The rock is laid. The frame is tentatively squared and level. I'm sure I'll have to make some minor adjustments tomorrow once I actually build the floor. I'm not sure what tomorrow has in store. <sighs> I'm tired. I know I'll be sore tomorrow. But um, I want to get the floor done and hopefully get the walls up and maybe even work on the roof. We'll just have to see how it goes. Thanks for sticking with me for this far. So if you like what you've seen so far, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll have more episodes in this series coming up soon. I'm hoping to get this done within a week. I wanted to get done in a weekend, but I don't think that's happening. Hit that like button if you like what you see. Stay tuned. I've got more episodes coming in this series. And until then, stay safe.